There is a battle brewing over solar panels in Northeast Ohio. Over the past two days, residents in Stark County gathered in Columbus to argue against a proposed solar farm near Alliance. It comes as more and more cities and towns are instituting moratoriums or flat out bans on large scale solar farms, right as some major projects are getting underway across the state. News 5's Clay Lepard shines a light on the state of solar beginning in Erie County. Perhaps you've seen it just off the Ohio Turnpike. Construction near Bellevue on a solar farm so large that our drone couldn't capture it all from 400 feet above. Max altitude reached. When it's done, Wheatsboro Solar, as it's called, will help generate enough power for 21,000 homes. That's about the population of Rocky River. What we're looking at in front of us is sort of mid construction. Gina Shelton showed us how Apex Clean Energy leased roughly 700 acres of farmland for the next 30 years. One of several projects they have in the state to help add energy for Ohioans. We need more energy on the grid to meet the demand that we're facing. Whether it's new manufacturing, data centers, or electric vehicles, solar lobbyist Will Hinman points out the future demand is there. The state says Ohio only produces about a thousand megawatts from solar, but add Wheatsboro with other greenlit projects and that number grows eightfold. We're not like the sunniest state in the, in the union, um, but technology has advanced to the point where, you know, even on very cloudy days, there's a lot of output coming into these solar arrays. Solar's not new. It's been around Ohio for quite some time. Ever been to a football game at Kent State? Right next to it is where they put in solar panels atop their field house back in 2012. And since expanded across six of their regional campuses, partnering with a solar company that owns the panels. It certainly paid for itself. Doug Pearson says the savings vary widely by weather, sunlight, and how much energy they use. But nonetheless, they are more than doubling down on solar by adding more panels. We're looking at uh, part of a new array that's being installed. At their main campus, that means multiplying their solar presence 16 times over. But while solar owners and those leasing out land see all sorts of savings and profits, that doesn't mean everyone is on board. A thousand acres of solar uh, panels really does change the look of a, a community. In 2021, the Ohio legislature gave counties the ability to restrict solar farms from coming in. Medina County was one of the first to take advantage. What home builder do you know of would want to do a big investment, multi-million dollar investment, and then say, you know that beautiful farm field you got next door to you that you're coming in, you're moving, you want, to, you want it to be there? Well, it's going to be a thousand acre solar farm. Not as pretty. Since then and well into 2024, more and more municipalities have instituted bans or moratoriums on solar farms, arguing they need time to add regulations. It's probably good to have that conversation early than wait until they're already at your door and they've spent a lot of money getting to your door. Now we wish that corn was going to be there all year round so that it would block the view of looking at that. Back in Erie County, they instituted a similar ban last year. Too late for neighbor Mindy Fazio, who sees the grandfathered in Wheatsboro Solar just about every day on her walk and knows she likely won't see any discounts or benefits for her family. Frustrating because, you know, we moved out of town in this very small community to have privacy and not look at this. Wheatsboro Solar is slated to be up and running by spring of 2025. In Erie County, Clay Lepard, News 5.